I want to thank everyone who made an effort to comment on the last video to encourage me to keep going after I roasted multiple channels in the last video. Those channels usually they take some strategy, some indicator, do randomly 100 trades, sometimes on five days and sometimes on 15 years. The encouragement made me think, well, how about I do it better than them, which of course I can. And so I'm going to start a series, and this is the first video in this series, where I will test indicators and rank them based on their performance. Now, if any of you are wondering why I'll go versus crap, first of all, because I think all these channels are crap. <laughs> That's what they're providing. There's no value there. But really, the idea came from Mad Magazine. I don't know if any of you have read Mad Magazine, but they usually had at the end a page for spy versus spy and that's how i got this algo versus crop but i like it now it's mine and we will use it for all these tests and first indicator we will test is the rsi of course there is no surprise there i love the rsi indicator and of course we will test all versions of this indicator now in order to compare all the indicators we need some kind of standardization now you can do this in multiple ways and you know some people will uh, probably don't agree with what I am going to do but you know we have to pick something and stick to it and compare all other indicators uh, doing this methodology. So here are the rules for testing all the indicators. For data I will start from 2006 so that should give us more than 15 years of data to backtest that includes the subprime crisis, COVID crisis, flash crashes, bull bear uh, volatility low and high and for markets i picked 35 instruments diversified so these includes currencies indexes interest rate energy metal there will be no slippage and commission in all these tests because we just want to measure the raw power of each indicator the entry exit rules will be also extremely simple of course each indicator has some level to enter long and short so we will pick those now because we are short-term traders i'm not interested in long-term holding or long-term look back periods and therefore our exit will be either a single day which is exit end of day or a multiple exit built into one to limit the exit within one week so that will be either five trading days or four atr stop or to ATR profit target. Of course, this will be aligned with mere reversion strategies because we are making the profit target short and the stop loss a little bit further away. So this will be our standard setup for all the coming indicators that I will be testing in this series. Now, starting with the RSI, let's have a look. So this is the RSI 2. Now, RSI 2 is a very short term indicator and therefore we need to treat the levels of entry and exit as such and so you can see here the red line is the 90 percentile and the green line is the 10 percentile because if we leave it at the default which is 30 and 70 then we'll have multiple multiple entries and exits so the shorter look back you have you need to make it more difficult for the entry to happen so the levels are 10 and 90 if the rsi goes below 10 we will go long if it goes above 90 we will go short and if we zoom in here so this is the rsi and we can see now here at this bar the rsi is below 10 so therefore we will enter next bar at the open that's the open we buy and then we exit at the end of day so we exit here next bar is the same thing because we're still under we buy and exit end of day all these bars are the same until this bar. So this bar here, the RSI is below. So next bar, we buy at the open, we exit at the close and that's it, it's done. Now we're, we don't have the short here because I'm doing the short and the long separately. Now why I am doing the long and the short separately? Of course, the ATM uh, students know this already about me because I prefer to test long and short separately, especially for short-term trading. Because short-term trading, each instrument behave very different in long and in short and in high volatility and in low volatility. So you need to separate those tests to see which one is doing better. And if you are interested in the code, this is it. So I have 
the exit type it's either one or two one is exit end of day two is exit either with the five trading bars or a stop loss and, or a profit target whichever happened first and then the bls it's either long short or both so we can limit the program to go long only short only or both long and short and this is our condition long entry condition is the rsi 2 lower than 10 the short entry condition is the rsi 2 greater than 90. it's a very simple code this is the test here now on emd which is the mid cap 400 and we can check the strategy and we can see it's uh, profitable of course this is the indexes and the indexes do very well with long mean reversion and let's see trade analysis so we have 396 trades averaging 175 per trade remember no slippage no commission and this is the curve for uh, with drawdown percentage and in dollars periodical analysis now the idea to test on multiple markets is really good because then we can gauge how this indicator behaves on multiple markets or it's only good on one market only of course the more market that it's good at then the more strategies you can build with that indicator so here is now the strategy applied to 35 markets. All these markets are represented by futures contract and the symbol might be different depending on your data provider. But later on, I will show you in Excel the exact name so you can uh, pick them from your data provider. So basically, we are applying the same strategy, but now instead of one market, we are doing it on 35 markets. So the second part of the study will be to implement the multiple exit and for that I can zoom in uh, let's say we entered here so then we can decide that this is the profit target and so this is the profit target and this is the stop loss and we will do this for 15 years to see if it's working or not of course <laughs> this is a joke we will do it by programming and with one click we will find out if it's working or not and now we need to switch the exit type to two now it's multiple exit we compile and let's back test the portfolio okay so now we relax and sip some coffee well it's already done and here is the performance of the portfolio and we can see a breakdown of all the instruments so about half and half uh, split so half of them making money half of them losing money and this is the portfolio with the drawdown of course you have to remember this is not a strategy so don't look at the equity curve because we're not trading this we are just measuring which indicator has the highest power of producing profits based on its raw capability this there is no filter uh, there is no tweaking uh, nothing it's it's just either exit end of day or exit with a fixed atr uh, stop loss and profit target and number of days this will be applied to all indicators in the same way that's how we can then measure apple to apple uh, close as close as possible so on the left here we have the 35 markets and these are the instrument name so s means soybeans so then if you find uh, if it's the symbol is different in your data provider you know what to look for and then these are the categories and this is our first indicator is the rsi2 with 10 and 90. now we have long and short and we have two exit types end of day and the multiple exits and then we have the net profits number of trades profit factor average trade maximum drawdown and return to drawdown ratio now once we have it in excel of course we can do many things we can do you know pivot tables and chart on pivot table First of all, there is 55, 339 trades done using the RSI. 35 markets, 15 years, long and short, using two types of exit. So averaging 384 trades, profit factor is about 50, average trade is minus 251. And this is the average drawdown. Now using the pivot table, I can see immediately that copper is doing well short and long with the RSI. And then E mini mid cap 400, same thing. The Dow Jones is only doing good in long. The NASDAQ only in long. Russell 2000 only long. And E mini SP only long. 
And this is interesting. Natural gas, the short side, is making a lot of money. So actually, this was a surprise. So let me switch to natural gas. And let's switch the strategy to short. So I just want to see if it's a one year. Oh, look at this. It's doing well in all years. So this is very surprising to me because natural gas is really good in breakout. And basically, we're not using this for breakout now. 2014 was bad. But, but other than that, I mean, this is uh, only one year and 15. So this is very acceptable. And remember, there is no filter here. So this is very good already. And Bitcoin, both of them are bad. So I assume if you reverse the rules, Bitcoin will be profitable. Same as the Nikkei and the Euro dollar. Now let's dig more. So let's see average trade. If we, let's ask for a minimum of uh, $50. So we have the E mini mid cap SP 500 gold cap for Japanese yen. This is also a surprise. So Japanese yen on the short side making money on end of day exit and the multiple exit. In fact, the multiple exit is doing like four times better than the end of day, which is of course expected because you're spending more time in the market. But the drawdown is very close matching. So this would be very good. So the Japanese yen multiple exit so let's go to japanese yen and we are doing short multiple exit and again look at this this is very interesting on the japanese yen remember no filter no slippage and commission but these results are very very promising so i just saw by category we have one currency one energy five equity indexes one interest rate and two metals all these markets are doing extremely well, some of them long, some of them short, using the raw power of the RSI2. And remember, we still have 4,208 trades. So from this chart, we can tell that we have 10 markets very, very well suited for the RSI2. We are testing more than 15 years, extremely simple strategy, the equity indexes, natural gas, Japanese yen, surprisingly doing really well with exit end of day. That means they're only holding one day. So this is a great start for developing a strategy. Of course, if you want to develop a strategy based on this indicator, you need to learn how to test for robustness. And for robustness, I got you covered because in the Algo Trading Masterclass, I have one full module dedicated to robustness only because that's what's going to make or break your strategy. Now, I am extremely happy with these results. Really, some of them are surprises even to me. And that just tells you that the more research you do, the more discoveries you will have and the more different strategies you will develop. So remember all these data points that we collected more than 55,000 trades only for a single indicator. Compare that with the crappy 100 trades channels you cannot do this I mean, come on <laughs> let's be honest and because the number of data is really big you can extract information that's really useful that you can apply it in your trading uh, development of course i will keep updating this excel database the more indicators i test and it will be available for downloads in the discord server which you can join through the link below to learn more concepts, get more insights, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you there.